For the last few weeks here on Emerging EdTech, we've been looking at online course management and learning management systems that offer free functionality. And after boiling them down to four that seem to potentially offer some pretty unlimited functionality for little or no cost, uh, I've begun to examine them more closely. This week I'm looking at MyIcourse.com. MyIcourse has a rather a limited set of functionality available. Uh, the good news is it's, it's basically free. It offers all the functionality that it has for no charge. Uh, the only possible charges you might incur are to pay $10 per month to have the banner, the ad banner at the top turned off. And some of the ads in the banner are not really appropriate for younger kids, so you might want to do that. But other than that, all the functionality is free. Uh, but the functionality is a bit limited. But that being said, it absolutely does allow someone to create uh, courses and multiple courses with modules, uh, and use videos, and uh, use some level of sophistication. Um, and uh, importantly, you can charge for these courses if you wish to, which is certainly attractive to uh, entrepreneurial instructors who want to run online uh, tutorials and workshops and that sort of thing. Um, so it's worth taking a look at, and here I'm going to show you how to sign on, how to start your own university, which is uh, what they do. You start your own kind of school online, and how to get started creating your courses and where to find additional help. A couple last quick things before we get started. First, you might want to look at the bullet points in the blog post about what my iCourse does well and what it doesn't do as well, and that may determine for you whether you want to watch the rest of this video. And in addition to that, uh, I did this uh, presentation in a slideshow format. I found that that helps me get organized and makes for a shorter, more efficient uh, delivery as opposed to recording on the screen directly. I know that recording on the screen is nicer sometimes because you get a better sense of exactly what's going on, but um, I, I think the, the trade-off is worth it and uh, hope you find it informative. Thanks. Alright, so let's get a look at what it takes to get yourself set up and started with MyIcourse.com. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to MyIcourse.com and click on create down here and that's going to bring you to this next screen where you're going to fill in an email address and a password to start creating an account uh, you are going to then on the next screen be prompted to create your own university and that's the way the tool works you create your own little online university you're then going to be prompted to um, sign in with the credentials that you just created and make a choice about whether you want to create a public or private college and then you're going to be asked to put a suffix here in front of the myicourse.com domain name to create your own unique URL. And then you'll be told uh, you're almost ready to go and you're going to get a confirming email coming out to you that you're going to have to click through. And when you do, you're going to land here that says you're now activated. Go ahead and log on and start creating. So when you click on that link, it's going to bring you out to this screen where they're going to tell you um, what you want to do to proceed forward. You're going to log in and you're going to look specifically at this menu over here in the setup option and then there's going to be a, um, a menu configuration option that you're going to look for. So you're going to go ahead, you're going to log in and then you're going to click on setup then you're going to click on menu configuration and then you're going to land here where you're going to get the choice of editing. Um, you really want to kind of edit your home page or welcome page. I clicked on edit to edit my home page and came out here where I then went ahead and put some text in for the name of the home page and then started to work on this lower section here where the content is. First thing I did was um, change the uh, little heading at the top to say Emerging Ed Tech University. Uh, then I wanted to change the image so I clicked on the image and hit delete. Uh, then I went up and clicked on the insert image icon here which brought up this screen that allows me to browse out onto my computer or pick something if I've already uploaded stuff, pick something um, from the server, or use a URL to reference an image. Uh, then I, I ran into a little bit of a snag here where um, uh, I, I did, I went out and I browsed out, grabbed an image and it popped it in. But the snag I ran into is I want this image up at the top of this frame here and when I right clicked on it I got this little pop-up about it couldn't open the dialog window and I have up here uh, a common thing in Internet Explorer sometimes, right? Pop-up block. So I, I had to right, I had to click on that and unblock the pop-ups. Um, then I was able to right-click on the image, and I messed around with these menu options and discovered that the cell option would get me to this screen where I was able to choose 
um, a vertical alignment of top and that was able to get the image to go ahead and go into the top of that little section there. So next I started editing over here in this section and uh, tweaked it to this point here and then I hit save and you gotta hit save I did get messed up once or twice um, because I clicked somewhere else without having hit saved and you just lose what you did and I had to come out and start doing it again so make sure as you're doing working through this that you come and hit save uh, repeat, uh, repeatedly as you work along so you don't lose everything if you mistakenly go clicking off somewhere um, so you want to you want to watch out for that um, after saving that brought me out here and said that you know the menu was successfully updated and then I went ahead and clicked on emerging ed tech university here to see uh, kind of what the result would look like to a user and here I see it so my next objective was to create a course uh, I looked over in the menus and found the edit course option and clicked on that which brought up this menu here and I then clicked on new course and that brought me to a screen like this and uh, I found myself looking at this and having questions now one thing you can do is click on the little um, if you see this yellow circle question mark that'll give you some information about that specific element uh, but I was really interested at this point. At, at, uh, I'd gotten through so far okay on my own, but I knew I was going to start to have questions and want some help. So I went ahead and clicked on New Site Owners up here, and that brought me um, to this section here where you get a bunch of information about what kind of help is available. And this is the top of this screen, and then this is the bottom of this screen um, where they you know, say, what do you want help with? Click here and we'll get you help. And if you do that, um, in this case, uh, I clicked on this um, particular, you know, want to create a course in ad text. The short course is available here. I click on that link. It brought me here. Um, I had to click on this enroll option and click on order now. Uh, it's free, so there's no, there was nothing involved that immediately brought me to the course. And now I get to these screens where I can read what's what and click um, next page to move through the, uh, the, the tutorial. So that was a huge help. There's a bunch of nice tutorials like that and they really made all the difference in terms of being able to do this in uh, less time versus more and struggling to uh, find it out uh, on my own. One thing that was a little kludgy is that once I was in that mode to get back to, my, to the site and work on my courses, um, I had to either open up another URL and type my iCourse again or click on this powered by my iCourse button. That, already, that got me there too and um, sometimes I had to log back in again so that, that was a little kludgy at times. All right, so after reviewing uh, some of those course materials, I went ahead and came back to the course site, uh, filled out some of these uh, basic kinds of settings here, came down to the bottom and hit save. Again, you must hit save. And then went to create course page, uh, where it took me to this interface where I went ahead and created a simple title and created the content. And obviously that a lot of the work goes into that, thinking about the content for your course page. I have an image and I filled out some information about what I envisioned happening. Uh, I created a link here. I went on ahead and created another, a second course page in which I embedded a video. Um, to do that, I had to switch to the advanced uh, editor and I go, had to go ahead and click on the source code and come out to that area and paste in my embed code from YouTube. Okay, so obviously I have stopped showing you the click by click. A process for creating all, all this course content although I think I've given you uh, a real good sense of um, what, what's involved here but uh, I do want to mention again that when you when you log in initially to myicourse.com they're gonna give you a choice of going to your own university or the learning center and if you come over to the learning center here when you click on that learning center link uh, if you click over here in the left hand menu on course catalog you're gonna get all these free course uh, courses that are pretty brief that show you how to go about doing all of this stuff and that's really the, uh, the the resource you need to figure your way through it and I want to wrap up by showing you our um, finished product here so here is emergingedtech.u where I really uh, I have this welcome page and if you click on the course catalog option it brings you to the one course we've created if you enroll in that it's gonna take you to this um, first screen where I explain what the goals are and, uh, and then if you go on to the second screen uh, you get the video and um, that's where I wrapped up there is this take assessment piece I, I didn't really I started I had experimented with the assessment and I couldn't see how to get rid of the darn thing 
Um, right now, if you do, it's just a real simple kind of question uh, that will allow you to submit a, a, a short answer. It doesn't even have a memo format. Um, and if I submit the answer, uh, I'm going to end up you know, coming through and getting this kind of 0% because that wasn't clear. So the, um, the test piece was a little... Uh, left a little bit to be desired. Uh, I do want to try and follow up and learn a little more about that. Um, but the fundamentals of creating the course itself uh, were uh, pretty straightforward. You know, it took some time to work through, and um, I have not gotten into things like how you uh, set up the charging for courses and that sort of thing, but it absolutely is an option to come out here uh, and uh, either paying no fee or um, paying the $10 fee to get rid of the banner ad uh, and I do want to point that out if you're in here um, see right now I don't see a banner ad let me go through if I go through and get back into course mode oh, there it is so here's this banner ad about how to get by on $50 a day and some of them are kinda inappropriate so if I go on to the next page oh here's great Charlie Sheen how to choose a hooker so obviously that's something you're really not gonna want and uh, for 10 bucks a month you can get rid of that banner ad so that is the one fee that you might have some interest in paying there's also an option to pay 25 a month and put up your own banner ad so again for entrepreneurs here's an easy site to get content out there to teach people things um, not as robust as it could be in terms of test um, and quiz taking but there is some test functionality and then that beyond that there really isn't a lot there's no discussion forum for example which I really wanted um, but perhaps over time we'll get more advanced and you can uh, I don't know that you're gonna be able to do a lot better than that for uh, for either nothing or for ten bucks a month I mean if you're comfortable with those goofy banner ads and this is uh, a site that it's primarily gonna be adults then the banner ad wouldn't really matter and you can get up and running for free and charge people for courses and uh, I, I thought it was a site worth sharing